right, everybody. I know it has been a while, but y'all have been asking for this. My most viewed video, 7.3 thousand views. Uh, when I did my story time tips and tricks on how to survive FTO as a police officer, a view from a police officer that is a, a Christian that holds morals and values uh, very near and dear to my heart. Uh, my name's Mike, also known as Happy Meal Laughs, and this is in, in, and due to the very very popular request from everybody who watched the video. They wanted to know why I got a policy named after me <laughs> in my agency. But quick disclaimer, the views in this video are my own and they do not reflect my department in any way. Glad we got that out of the way. But yes, I work for uh, a, a beach police department in Florida. I won't say their name. And, uh, and uh, basically, my... When I got off, I'll get right into the video too. Let's get right into it. Basically, I was a first year officer. I got off of FTO. Um, I was still, yeah, yeah, dang, this sucks. I was still on probation, but um, um, <laughs> so basically at my department, there is a country club. Like I said, it's a beach town, so it's a little bit more of a prosperous area. There's a little bit more money there. Some money, some big wigs there. We got some, uh, I won't give away my town or anything, but there's some Jacksonville Jaguar players, NFL players that stay at the beach in, in the city I work for. So that lets you put it puts into a little bit of perspective. There's some money there. Anywho, so I'm at the, uh, I am telling on myself. Some of my family watch this, watch this video and watch my YouTube and they don't even know what I'm about to say. This is crazy. <laughs> Only for YouTube. So basically, um, I got a 2008 Crown Vic with 120,000 miles on it. That's my first. That was my first car straight out of FTO. I know I didn't have no Taurus, no Impala, no nothing like that. No Ford Explorer. Nah, I had that. That Crown Victoria, 2008 with 120,000 miles on it um, with the, the cloth seats that were dented in because of the five previous owners that were in it and the dents everywhere in the car. But I was grateful because it was my take-home car. So, you know, I'm working day shift. I, at the time, I was working 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. That was my shift. And I'm riding around. I go to the country club, which is the richest part of my city, and... Uh, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I see this really, really cute girl. Now, keep in mind, I am in uniform. I am on duty. So, as part of my policy for my agency, I am to act as professional as possible in the performance of my duties at all times because I am uh, on duty. I'm getting paid by the department. So, I see this cute girl. I, I pass by her. I say, dang, she's cute. But I keep on driving by. I do, I, I do my round, uh, my security check, which we call a 31, a property check, a signal 31. And when I'm making my exit, I see the girl again on the sidewalk. And she gives me this look. She was like, hey, kind of this, hey, what you want? What's up, big boy? What's up, big boy? She kind of gives me that look. So I'm thinking, okay, let me, let me see what's up. Let me go. Let me go talk. I ain't even thinking about uniform. But I'm stupid, you know, am I, what was I? Oh, I was, dang, I was 21 years old. I Yeah, because I joined the police department right when I turned 21. Um, I'm 24 now. So, dang, that was straight when I turned 21. So, my 21-year-old brain, I'm, I'm like, okay, let me go talk to the girl. Let me go talk to the girl. Not thinking wisdom of, would this girl talk to you if I was, you were out of uniform? Or is she only talking to you because she see that you got a badge and you make a little bit of money? So, I didn't think about it. In, in hindsight, it's a killer. But anywho, so so I go I go to the front of the country club. I park my vehicle. But even though I park my vehicle, I leave my vehicle running. That was mistake number one. Part of my policy with my department is you cannot leave your vehicle idling. Idling means key and ignition. The car is on. AC is blasting. But you're not in the vehicle. Even though I had my doors locked and you weren't going to get in my car unless you bust my window, 
I was still breaking policy by leaving my car idling. Needless to say, my car was idling for about an hour and a half. No, I wasn't talking to the girl for that long, but it was sitting there for an hour and a half. So anywho, I get out. I go try to go find the girl. I can't see her. I'm looking, I'm looking. I spy with my little eye and way out in the distance. I'm talking way out, like in the 18th hole. It's a country club slash golf course. So she's like in the 18th hole, like way in the back. And I see her. I'm like, I ain't walking that far. It's summer is hot, about 100 degrees outside. I ain't got no water. I ain't about to walk over there. I'll be trying to talk to this girl sweating. <sighs> Can I have your number? I'm not doing all that. I'm in uniform too. And if you know anything about the uniform, the vest is heavy and it gets smelly easy. The, the belt, about 40 pounds. It ain't no 40 pounds. But the belt heavy and it's hurting your back. And I'm sweating. Nah, I'm going to pass. So I did the smart thing. So I went up to the front of the country club. I was like, hey, dude, um, can I use one of your golf carts? I'm not here on official police business or anything. I just want to um, just go around the field and stuff. And dude's like, yeah, dude, you can totally use it. And uh, so I get on the golf cart. I'm, I'm in uniform. Everybody looking at me crazy, thinking something happened. <laughs> I'm in uniform flying in the golf cart, zipping through holes and dents and getting bumps and stuff. And <laughs> it was a good time. And so I go catch up to her. I talk to her, long story short. I talked to her uh, just for a little bit. She wasn't my type. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving, needless to say. Um, then I go back, and um, as I'm, and then I go back, and then I go into the gift shop. I uh, no, no. I go back. I give the guy back the golf cart. I go into the gift shop, and there's a cute girl there too. So I'm shopping around. I'm asking her questions about the stuff and. We're talking about movies and stuff. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, that movie sounds good. Maybe maybe we should catch a movie sometime as friends because I was just trying to be friends at that point. And she politely rejected, even though I wasn't like being flirty or anything. She kindly said, no, I have a boyfriend. I'm like, first of all, wasn't even like that. We had things in common. I was trying to just see if you wanted to hang out. And she was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I have a boyfriend. I don't want friends. I was like, okay, cool. No need to be so mean. So that happens. Um, I go back in my car. I go home. Boom. You think it's over, right? Nope. Two weeks later, two weeks later, I get a call back in the office and I am under internal investigation. For what? I'm in under internal investigation for harassing the girl, the first girl that I asked the number for on the golf course. Harassing. I'm under investigation, internal investigation for that. So I'm mad because there's no reason for me to be under investigation. Um, I'm still on probation, so I'm scared. And then I'm going to get fired. And thirdly, I'm not worried at all because I know I didn't do anything. So I go to... They sit me in the office and stuff, and then they're like, hey, uh, this girl said that you harassed her and was calling her a bunch of times and stuff, and um, um, and she said that when she got off of work, you followed her in your police car all the way out into the main road. So I was like, well, every single thing she said was false. They looked at my uh, GPS, because there's GPS on the cars, and... The girl lied because I went the opposite way of the way she left. And I left before she got off of work. So I wasn't there to follow her because I was already gone. So she lied about that. I didn't call that girl at all. I sent that girl one text message. She didn't reply. I said, okay, I don't, I'm not a double texter. I'm going to text you one time. If you mess with me, you do. If you don't, you don't. I'm not one of them dudes that's going to text you four, five, six, seven, eight times. It ain't going to happen. So that was it. So... So the person, I'm not going to say the rank, but the person that did the my internal investigation was like, okay, well, we're, we're going to get her in, interview her as well. Well, guess what? They go to call her to interview her. They call the uh, country club that she works for. And guess what? She quits. Wonder why you quit, sweetheart. If you don't have nothing to lie about, why are you quitting? Unless you're guilty. So that was just ridiculous. And then, uh, so... <laughs> Basically, I got they they basically you can I can get a level one write up, um, write up that goes on my permanent file, um, remedial training, 
that goes in my permanent file saying that it is taught to me a slap on the wrist with nothing or level two, level three, and all these suspensions and stuff. So basically I got um, remedial training <laughs> saying that I should be ethical and the performance of my duty wearing a uniform at all times and that I should always be uh, conducting myself in appropriate behavior while on duty which means no asking girls for their phone numbers or flirting with girls on duty. Man, there are cops that do so much worse. I'm not here to rat on people, but so I got a little slap on the wrist, a little remedial training. It still went in my file as remedial training, but they basically said, hey, don't do this again. And then, and that was for the, the flirting, asking girls for the phone number. I just got remedial training to be ethical and don't do that anymore. Then leaving my car idling because they looked at my GPS that was in the car and saw that my car was idling for about an hour and a half, just gas just running and I wasn't in it because I was off on the golf course. They said, hour and a half? Okay, we're writing a policy after you. <laughs> I got a sign on the wrist, but I got a policy written, off, written after me that said, addressing every patrol officer in my department saying, you are not allowed to take golf carts and ride them on the golf course unless it is an emergency that is approved by your supervisor or above. I'm like, dang, they taking this serious. You can't even ride the golf carts no more. Now, in my defense, I asked the dude that worked there, I, hey, can I use this? And he said, yeah. It's not like I stole anything. So in my eyes, my 21-year-old eyes, I felt I did nothing wrong. I asked for permission to use the golf course. I asked the girl one time for her phone number. I left. I wouldn't lingering around. I wouldn't, you know, talking, spitting game to these girls and stuff. I was being professional and stuff. And I still got ratted on and still got a policy written after me. Now, nobody can use golf course, golf carts because of what I did. And folks was a little mad, but they, they <laughs> when they sent out an email, they didn't say who, who, who the policy was named after. They just said, don't do it. Well, whenever we get a policy, we know somebody did something to break the policy. But thankfully, they didn't say it was me. So... That is how I got a policy written after me. Not as climatic as you may have wanted it to be for the people that were requesting this video. <laughs> and I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> but hey, it happened when I was 21. I'm 24 years old now. I'm, I'm still loving my job as a police officer. I've learned a lot. And I definitely do things a lot differently with the the camera age now when everybody recording everything at any time you can't do nothing now they're recording everything i asked a girl for her phone number she gonna clip and edit certain parts and add things and face scans and stuff and before you know it now i'm 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 asking her to have sex with me or something and i never said that but but because they can alter and modify videos and stuff now they just mix your words up and stuff and all kinds of crazy stuff so i'm good I'm out of uniform, I'll conduct that business, but I'm in uniform and strictly professional. Yes, sir, I am Officer Washington at your service. How may I help you? But that's all for me, y'all. Make sure y'all leave comments on other tips and tricks. Like I said, this was just a policy. This wasn't tips and tricks like I did the FTO video the last time that you can check out in the uh, videos on my channel, but y'all let me know what else you want to see because I'm obviously a wealth full of knowledge at 24 years old with three plus years experience in law enforcement and police, plus years of experience in corrections. So got a wealth of, wealth of knowledge in Florida at your hands if you have any questions about it, just let me know. Um, I, obviously I don't know everything, but I've been in the game a little bit now. So I know a little something, something. I'm not a rookie, but y'all let me know what you wanna know and we'll go from there. <laughs> Peace out.